Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld, and this program is about the evolution of our consciousness. And in this time of evolution, there are certain tools that are coming to people to assist us in this awakening of consciousness. That is why I'm so happy to have with me tonight Hope Fitzgerald. She's discovered, created, um, found this tool for the acceleration of our awareness and how we can use it as a, as a spiritual technology. It's called the Infinity Wave, and thank you, Hope, for being here. Thank you, Alan, so much. It's a really fascinating design. Talk about how this came to you, you know, this like figure eight flowing through. I mean, it's been around forever, but something unique about this um, matrix came to you. Can you talk about that? Uh, sure. Um, it's my favorite topic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's your mission, right? <laughs> it is. So, yes, the infinity sign has been around forever. Mm -hmm. And one would think that, well, it just is what it is, right? Um, but what happened for me was that it appeared in a series of visions in late 2010. This, this figure appeared to yes. you. Yes. Uh, it was the third in the series. Mm -hmm. I, um, just to give a little background, I've always been a very spiritual person, uh, but I've kept it very on the down low. You know, okay. that's sort of my private Idaho. <laughs> Actually, I have to say, Hope is a very, I mean, you're a spiritual teacher. I mean, this is your... Your path is spirituality. Well, it is, but what I'm saying is that it was very private, mm -hmm. okay? And then I had a very challenging year in 2010, mm -hmm. and I was so depleted after the things that had happened that I went to sound healing workshops okay. with one of your guests, Tom what? Kenyon. Oh, Tom Kenyon. Right. He was a great guest. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I came back from that delightfully empty, mm -hmm. and... During that time, I had, I had made a pledge. I basically raised my hand and said, I am a willing vessel to spirit, and uh, do with me what you will. And that was the end of the time with him, and I, and I came home feeling wonderful and empty in all the best ways. And within three days, I started to have these visions. Mm -hmm. The first one was a giant wall of water, basically. Uh, it was not threatening. It was beautiful. It was... 10, 20 stories high. It was huge. Uh -huh. And it was turquoise and lovely. And it, the, the message of this wave coming toward me was there's going to be a push of evolution. And if you want to do well with this, learn to swim, learn to surf. If you stand and resist, it's going to be a lot harder for you. This is 2010. 2010. Welcome to New Realities. I got these really nice pendulums from Hope Fitzgerald and uh, I just thought pendulums would go back and forth but uh, there's a lot more to it is there <laughs> yes <laughs> so I mean there's all these different types of pendulums you've given me four different types of pendulums and mm -hmm. they all do different things they do like they what do, do you mean they do different things well this so, is a big, what, what do you do with this That's one? called a spell breaker. A spell breaker. Mm -hmm. What kind of spells? Well, um, negative thoughts, curses, hexes, How would, uh, anything that, you know, things can get attached to us. Right. And through lifetimes, stay attached to us. Mm -hmm. And we don't even know about it. But suddenly we always have a problem with our ankle or we always mm. have a problem with our so hand. So how do I clear it using the pendulum? The, you, you use this, uh, you, you, there's a thing that you say, you command it uh, very strongly. What do I say? Well, it's a long thing, oh. but, uh, uh, but you command it strongly. And what I do is I have a person uh, lying out and uh, after I've said the command, I go up and down the person's body, mm -hmm. and it will actually start to lead me. It It'll will. start to pull me. If you're a good dowser, you know how to do that. And you know what else is very cool? Right. Is that it knows what order to remove things in. But I, I want to say a question about pendulum. Is it an it or is it really a part of you that knows that? Because you're the, ultimately oh. the one that's okay. moving it on some subconscious higher level. Okay. Well, I consider myself a conduit. Okay. Okay. But this thing is 
is has consciousness, just like everything it does, does. But aren't we giving it? Everything has consciousness. Okay. Everything has consciousness. This beautiful bowl has consciousness. Okay, I guess I it does. I communicate with the bowl. I wave the bowl before I play it. You wave to it? I wave the bowl before I play oh, it. through the wave, you're yeah. infinity wave. Yeah. Okay. So this has a consciousness. Yes, I am a conduit, but it is a tool working with me. Okay. Okay? Okay. So uh, when I go up and down a person's body, mm -hmm. if I start at the head, and it might go all the way down and and not engage until the ankles or, or beyond the feet. But then I go back up again, then it'll do the head. Mm -hmm. It knows what order to clear in. It's, mm -hmm. I, so don't know, that, I don't know who's in charge, but it's pretty that, genius. That's a spell breaker, and then we have these. You can throw, hit, okay. put this camera up there. This is I, this one. This is, is the Isis pendulum. It's a kind of brass. Well, what I want to show oh, here yeah. is that, well, let me do this. So many people have some kind of a that's stone like, what, what is or, that made of? I think this is glass. Okay, that's uh, glass. Either that or, yeah. That's um, glass. Okay, you can, it, you can make a pendulum out of a piece of thread and a needle. Yes. Okay, anything. Um, what's gonna happen with those kinds of, these are very simple forms, very simple shapes. You're basically going to be able to detect things. Yes or no? Yes or, or no, you can ask questions like that. And you can break energy up, okay? How do you break energy up? You ask it to do that. You ask your pendulum to break uh, energy up. We've so you... just been talking about that, and it starts to move. Okay. You know, my hand's okay. not moving. It's just okay. saying, oh, break energy up? Okay, I know how to do that. And it'll start to spin, okay? So you can use that on somebody's body. Okay. Uh, or in a room. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this pendulum is made out of what they call druid's wood, otherwise known as boxwood, which we have ornamental little boxwood hedges all over the place. And um, it is very special because this pendulum does three things. It can detect, like that one can. Mm -hmm. It can also absorb, mm -hmm. and it can also emit. What does it emit? Well, what you decide you want to be admitted. Okay. Admitted. Emitted. <laughs> Not omitted, admitted. Okay. So, um, let's say a person is, is, you know, we all have a color spectrum. Yes. Okay. So, let's say you are primarily purple. Okay. But you could use some yellow. So, you program I it? will, no, I'll go, uh, I'll ask which color, I'll detect which color you're missing and needing. Okay. Then if it says yellow, I will go to something yellow and I'll say, okay, please absorb that color. Mm -hmm. It'll absorb it, I'll come back to you, and then I'll say, please emit that oh. color yellow. And if we douse, if we test you afterwards, you will now have that color in your field. Wow. I didn't know you could do that. With I know, there's lots it's of like things. It's like those little like ink bladders, you pick up the color in Photoshop and boom. Oh yeah. It's oh, like yeah. right there. It's really cool. This is the Isis pendulum, mm -hmm. okay? This, you can see when you use metal, you can get much more detailed. Now, all of these have sacred geometry um, right. in them, right? They are created very specifically. The rings um, enhance the energy, mm -hmm. makes it more powerful. The tip, how pointy it is, uh, makes a difference. So what can you do with the Isis pendulum? Well, the Isis pendulum can do a lot of things. Uh, it's a very protective pendulum. It's a very efficient emitter. It will emit energy. Yes, it can also detect, but it is extremely powerful. I always carry it on me. Um, it's one of those things that you could put in your car as protection. Um, I, I'm still learning <coughs> about my Isis pendulum, mm. to tell you the truth. So. Um, What's the history of pendulums? How far back do they go? I mean, wow, well, oh as a my tool gosh. of... As far there's... back as you can imagine. Really? So people have used pendulums? Yes. Yes, they have. Because it's a way of talking to the higher mind. Well, one of the old-timey ways that we know of is to use dowsing rods. Oh, I love those. Okay. But the thing is, yes. uh, we many people are familiar with the sticks that somebody would come out, a farmer would come out and try to find where the well Water, should be, yeah, right? right. And, and the sticks can also determine 
how deep the water is uh -huh. and what the flow of the rate of flow of the water is. So you, you might find a couple of places where there's water, but you want the one with the strongest flow, right? Okay. So these are a metal version of the wooden sticks. And what can you detect with those? Everything. Uh, everything. Right? This is, I like using um, these for all my coaching work. I also use them for outdoor work. Um, what I use, kind of work you mean? Oh, well, finding water or... You could find water with oh, those? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to ask them to please show me a yes. When they go in, it's a yes. Uh, yes, and please show me a no. Would it be different for someone else? It can be. Some people have yes being this. But I think my and yes no is being that. out. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So it's funny. I was, I was uh, at a... At a big uh, show at one point and I had a bunch of of dowsing rods for sale uh -huh. and and it was very interesting to watch some people come up and and have yeses automatically out and some automatically right <laughs> it just right. depends on the person would what if one goes one and the okay, other one okay, doesn't so yeah the reason that I like using the dowsing rods for my coaching work is because they're more nuanced for me than the pendulum. Right. I use that for healing and, and body work and things like that. Um, but these rods will um, will be able to, yeah, what, it might go like this. What does that mean? Well, that means a yes and a no, or it means if we're talking about two people, mm. one represents one person, one represents the other person. Um, it can also be how how quickly they move, like sometimes they're really dragging, which can mean not right now, um, but let's figure out when. Okay, um, good. We can also, uh, sometimes I'll say, is it in my highest physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual good to fly to California next week? Well, that's a pretty clear no. Mm -hmm. Is it in my highest physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual good to drive home after 10 tonight? Okay, so he's like, mm, not really. It's it's okay. You should drive home earlier. But it would be better if you went earlier. Do you see how slow that well, was? Well, it didn't tell you about being better earlier. You added that part. How do you know that's what it would say? Oh, because well, okay. So that's the other piece of this is mm -hmm. how how um, information comes in. Like you're channeling it. Like you're sort yeah. of. Yeah, so pictures and words and phrases and uh, start to pop into my mind. And what I love about using the rods is for the client, they can see confirmation. Wow, this is so great. These, I mean, I've, I've played with these, but you can really, you, should, you teach courses in yes, this, I right? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. How can people find you about with dowsing rods and Same pendulum? place, www. Tell them. Uh, it's weinfinity.com, we-infinity.com. Thank you, Hope, for that little piece. I love these. I could just <laughs> go all over the planet just looking for things, and they really seem to work. Oh, they do work. They're I mean, remarkable. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm talking to Hope Fitzgerald and her, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> uh, um, and if you want to reach me, go to newrealities.com. I'm Alan Steinfeld. Thanks for watching. Okay, I love, I love these. I really, I really do. I mean, <laughs> I can play with these all day and just ask myself questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you.